Welcome to another GA canine training video, folks. This video is going to be of Kira working a multiple suspect trail. It's not all the time that you just have one person that you're looking for. More often than not, on a night shift, you can have a jump and run that leaves two, three, or four suspects that are leaving from the vehicle, jumping into the woods, and then running off for dear life, and you're left to have to find them. Well, if you haven't trained for it, this could be a little bit difficult, so you have to start somewhere. Today we're working Kira on her first multiple subject trail, and as you can see in the beginning, it's a little tough. She's got three odors all leaving from one spot. She's a little bit confused, but if she gets more in the track, she starts working it with more vigor. And by the time she's working the third person, she has this whole system down. So this is a pretty seamless track, but we had to work her into it in such a way that it was tiered and that she learned from each event on her own without help or guidance from the handler. She probably would have went out that way. Yep. Just so, you know.
Kiera. Yes. You're the best girl, huh? Good girl. She uh, so I think from over there. But when she went in the woods, I think she was getting it. Because yeah. it was just there, but she, yeah. I guess, decided just to go back up and come this way. Thank you. Hey, now you gotta go find something else. Get your ass ball. Nice. Good girl, Okay, so you notice that when we start Kira again on the sus second subject, she's not exactly sure what she's supposed to do. In the past, she's always found one person, absolutely no problem, the exercise is done and over with and she's got a reward. But now her reward's been taken from her and she's being asked to work again. And it doesn't take too long, but it does take just a little bit of wandering about and she ends up picking up the second track and she picks it up nicely. When she does, it's very, very obvious. You're going to see all the body language indicators that says that she's on the second order. What I want you to do is put your hands above your head. Hands above your head. Turn around. Turn around. What I want you to do is walk backwards towards the sound of my voice. Walk backwards. Good. 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 And stop. Turn around and face the dog. And show her the toy. <laughs> <laughs> good girl, girl. Come here, come here. Oh, good girl. Good girl, Kira. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Alright, we still got another one to do. Now you're going to notice when Kira started on this third one, there's absolutely no hesitation. No real roaming around, no, at, no confusion whatsoever. She immediately gets right back to work. She knows there's a third person here. She knew it from the beginning, but now she knows exactly what she's supposed to do and her job's not done. She goes right back to work, picks up this third track, and then ends it in very good fashion.
Good girl. Good girl, Kira. That's a good girl, Kira. Good girl. Okay, my friends, this is the map of the overall trail. Blue, orange, and pink are our trail layers, and white is the canine. Thanks for watching this GA canine training video, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like what we do, if you have an interest in how we train, make sure you check out my brand new book. It's called The Tao of Trailing, and it's available at gacanine.com.